Hi, this is Lisa, and today I want to share with you my Dollar Tree haul. Today I have um, food items, a couple of food items that I use on a regular, and also some of my craft projects. I'm going to show you two at once. These are actually called veggie straws. These are sensibly natural veggie straws, and these are the good health veggie straws. You can get these at any other store, grocery store, Walmart, Target, and they're definitely more than a dollar. And when I saw these there, I decided to pick them up, and they are actually really good. So these are the veggie straws. These are made with sea salt, and these are the three cheese blend. Very good. Dollar Tree, of course. Another one of the items that I wanted to share with you was the fruit cobbler mix. This is called Grandma's Recipe. Pretty easy to make. Add milk, butter, peaches, and it actually has a very nice flavor. And we use this when we have our family dinners and things like that. Really good, especially for a dollar. These good to go bars. These are actually double peanut butter. I don't like a lot of breakfast bars and things like that, but I love peanut butter. And this is one of the, this is a South Beach, and this is one of the few things from South Beach that I actually do like. It's really good to be kind of like a diet bar. One of the other things as far as food, this is a lemon pound cake. I haven't tried that one yet, but this is the plain pound cake. I get this one quite often, and I was actually going to use this in a video to show how you could feed a, like a family of six for under $10, and it would include dessert. So what I normally do with this pound cake is I get the Dollar Tree strawberries, the frozen ones, and their, uh, the Dollar Tree whipped cream. I don't know the brand names of them. And I would slice this in two to three different layers. And I'll have uh, the cake on the bottom. Then I'll add the whipped cream, strawberries, another piece of cake, then whipped cream, strawberries, and then the top layer. And then slice it thinly after it all sets. And kids really like that. And like I said, this is a plain pound cake. And this is a very good buy for just a dollar. Another thing that I wanted to share with you, they have these Welch's um, juices. They had quite a few varieties, but this is the only one that I actually really like and that I drink myself. So this is the Blue Raspberry Punch. And at the Farmington location in Michigan, they had a lot of the Fago products, every brand name of Fago, the two liter bottles for just a dollar. This right here is a paintbrush set. I really like this, and this is 25 pieces. My youngest daughter decided she wanted to start painting on canvas, so we went to Michael's and got her canvas and probably like three or four paint brushes, and they were like almost $20. So to find these paint brushes and a different variety of them for a dollar, I really thought this was a good deal because normally when you get the Dollar Tree paint brushes, you only will see these little small ones, but you know, this have the sponges, the ones you can use for dappers and you know, paint a lot of different textures. So I really thought this was a really good buy. 25 paint brushes. And as you see, Toys R Us. So yeah, it definitely would have cost more than just a dollar. Another thing as far as my crafts, I had bought two of these, the Play School tape. I'm sorry, my tape fell. Uh, the Play School school glue. Normally if I'm gonna get some white glue from the Dollar Tree, I'll just get the cheap brand, but since I've seen these, and I will normally get these from Walmart when I do the kids' school shopping, I decided to just go ahead and get them for a dollar instead of paying two dollars for them. Another thing that I had bought was these Glad sandwich bags. I like the fact that these have the double zip on there, and you know I use those for my different, um, like the little coin pouches and things like that, and you get twenty-two of those in the box for a dollar another great buy and normally like if i go to a dollar store or something i don't like to get their velcro because you have to sew it on or glue it on this is actually sticky back fasteners and it's actually pretty strong especially to come from a dollar store i normally just go to michael's and get the uh, extra strength velcro but these work really well also and just a few more craft items uh, these ring binders. I like the book binders because sometimes I run up the, out of the D rings and I can actually get 10 of these for a dollar instead of 
three or four for four dollars at Michael's. So I like to use these as well. They also had the Rose Art brand of the glue sticks, and I like to use these. Like I'm gonna be doing some cards and everything. I used to make my children a lot of cards just because, and these kind of glue sticks work very well. And I think my favorite thing from the Dollar Tree out of this haul happened to be my scissors. These right here are the Jot Soft Grip scissors. These work really well, and I actually can use these with the duct tape. But what I like most are these Westcott Titanium Bonded scissors. At Target, you can get an eight inch pair of Westcott scissors for $19.99. Even though this is a seven inch, I know you'd still definitely pay more than a dollar. I haven't been able to find these in Detroit or Dearborn. Those are the two main Dollar Trees that I go to. I actually found these in the Farmington, Michigan, Michigan Dollar Tree. So these are all the things. Oh, and I bought two <laughs> pair of these, the Westcott brand scissors, and they work really well with um, duct tape. You just have to oil them and keep them clean, and you can use these for a very long time. So once again, this is Lisa, and I just wanted to share with you my Dollar Tree haul. Thanks so much for viewing.